Hey guys, welcome back. I took a few days off filming. I, don't know, I did one Friday, took Saturday, Sunday off. I was gonna film the kids getting the Christmas tree decorated yesterday. So there's the tree, it's not decorated. I, uh, we had church and then I had my Seahawk game, which we won. <laughs> and the kids really didn't wanna decorate right then anyway. I asked them, because I pre-recorded the game, so I could've watched it anytime. But they just came home from church and wanted to play and kind of hang out. And then I had a meeting. I got put on to another committee for church. Now I have to put together an entire Christmas party for about 250 to 300 people. Retain your time. That was a little overwhelming. So I went to a meeting yesterday to kind of figure it out. I have a whole bunch of errands to run, but I've got five minutes on that timer for my washer and I really want to move it. It's just towels, I think. So really, it's an easy load to like fold as soon as I get home. And so, but I have a bunch of errands to run this morning. I have to go to Target. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to you today about making sure you're on top of Christmas sales and whatnot when you're buying presents because they almost missed one yesterday, not yesterday, the day before. I just happened to be looking for, for sweatshirts is what I was looking for. Um, hang on, let me put you down for a second while I put lotion on. So I had to, I was looking for sweatshirts. I'm trying to get our family picture outfits ready to go. And I had the idea to do like really casual sweatshirts, jeans, because my kids get kind of grumbly about getting dressed up and going to get pictures taken and then they want to immediately take off their clothes and put their cozy ones back on. So I thought, why not just start with the cozy clothes, you know? Long story short, I got on a couple different websites, Amazon. I didn't think of Target right away, but I was looking at that at Target.com because I wanted to find some t-shirts for Jason just for Christmas. He needed more like thermal shirts. He wears them a lot for work, but then he can wear them at home as well. So I was looking at Target's website. They had like an early Black Friday sale where if you spent $40 on apparel, I just happened to be looking on Saturday night, laying in bed. <laughs> Otherwise I just would have gone back to Target, which is where I was all Saturday night with my girlfriends. But if you spent $40 on apparel, then you got $10 off. I was like, oh. Well, I can totally find $40 worth of shirts for Jason. So I had a couple of his shirts in my shopping cart and then I was nearing the $40 mark. And then I think I found a shirt for myself that would have worked for the family pictures. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna change the color on one of these shirts that I got Jason so that they would have worked for the family photos, even though it wasn't a sweatshirt. He's not a sweatshirt kind of guy. He's more of like a thermal type shirt. So then I was like, okay, so maybe I should take advantage of this discount and get something for Ashley or Chelsea because I already had one for Abby and Kaylee. I started looking around and I found one for Ashley. So then that put me over the $40 mark, but then I realized I was close to $50. This is a long story, but hang on with me. This is what you, this is the math you have to do when you think about Christmas shopping. So I was at, almost at $50 in my shopping cart before tax. If I spent $75, I got $20 off, bringing my total down to $55. So if I added almost $25 to my cart, I would only pay $5 more than I was currently going to pay for the items that were in my shopping cart. So I added a total of seven shirts, seven or eight shirts to my shopping cart and then I also had a 20% off, well, they're calling it Target Circle. It used to be Cartwheel. It was 20% off apparel. <laughs> I don't even know how I found all of these good deals. So then I got 20% off like three or four of the shirts that qualified for that 20% off. Like Ashley's sweatshirt was like $8. A sweatshirt was $8. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, there's my dryer. I can go and do the dryer now while we talk. Anyway, all said and done, I got seven or eight t-shirts, sweatshirts, thermal shirts, three for myself. All right, so my, my total before was just around $50. I think we were at like 51 or something like that. I added all those other shirts, added my discounts. I got $20 off, 
20% off. I mean, it was ridiculous. I brought my total with tax. I got free shipping and I brought my total to like 57. I mean, ridiculous, right? I mean, my total before was 50 and it would have been 55 with tax and I brought it to 57 with tax <laughs> for $25 worth of more clothes. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. So pay attention to those things and I'll be right back. I'm gonna move laundry. Okay, ready to go. I wanted to continue with this because I told you how I went to Target Saturday night with my girlfriends. So I went to Target with my girlfriends Saturday night. None of us wanted to go out to dinner or whatever. So we wandered around Target and I really wasn't planning on getting something or anything. I got cream cheese and I don't necessarily like shopping when I'm with girlfriends because I tend to feel like I need to impulse shop or kind of keep up with what they're buying or you know I I don't like to have that keeping up with the Joneses mentality and so I tend to not shop with friends very often but it was very fun we were having a good time and having good conversation and whatnot and so I wanted to go with them so we were in the toy aisle and my kids my younger kids are just really not even asking for very many toys I think the only toy that Ashley has well she asked for two um, one of them is like an LOL doll, which I'm not getting that biggest one. It's not happening. And then like Silly Putty and some stuff from the Disney store. They're not like asking for a ton of games and toys and stuff like they used to. So I've been out of the loop, especially with Target, to look for good deals on their website or on the app. And they've kind of changed the app anyway to Target Circle instead of Target Cartwheel. Um, oh, that was the other thing. My Target Circle now has rewards. Like, you know how like, you have your grocery store, you earn points, and then you get discounts or whatnot? Target now does that. So I had a dollar off with that. Anyway, that's how I brought my total down, like, so much. So, back to Target with my girlfriends. So we were in a toy aisle. Ashley had asked for, like, Amer American Girl doll accessories, even though she knows that two of the dolls, three of the dolls she has are not American Girl dolls. They're from Target. They still look exactly like the, the American Girl dolls and she likes to play with them with Chelsea. And so I just kind of glanced down that aisle to get an idea of what they had and the prices they were because I have in my, here I'll open it up while I talk. I have all my kids wish lists here in my notebook, in the back of my notebook. I know my older girls know that it's there now. I keep a tally of everything that they want and my own secret coding of what I have gotten or what I haven't gotten. Everything that's on the list if I've priced it all outright, keeps me in budget per kid, right? That I can, if I'm checking things off just from that list, I know I'm not gonna go over budget. So here's Ashley's list and I can check it off, I can look at it, but I'm not gonna overspend. But I didn't have a big item on Ashley's list. Literally like maybe $40 worth of stuff that she's asked for so far. Not that I think you have to put a price tag on the amounts that you spend on your kids, but I just felt bad that she wasn't asking for anything like big, any, you know, big toy or big thing that she could get super excited about. And I am not going to get the big LOL doll like she wants. We did that mistake last year with the Hatchimals. Those things are so overpriced. I'm not, I'm not gonna fall into that trap again. I was originally looking at the upper accessories are like 15 to $18 range and I was just gonna get like one of those. And then I noticed that they had a sale on toys if you sent the word toys to their texting. 827438 is what their texting thing is and it sent me a 25% off one toy coupon. And this is the kind of stuff that I used to be so good at doing. And so I, I texted that to myself, a 25% discount on one of these items. It was already on sale, so I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't want to give it away for Ashley. But it was one of the big sets. Like, think like the big Jeep or like the big like room sets. You know, you know, doggy bathroom, you know, set or kitchenette set or whatever. Those big things that you see at Target on the bottom row. You know, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. It was originally $65, $66 or something like that. On sale for $57 and I got 25% off that. And I used my Target card, so I got an additional 5% off that, which then earns me rewards, which I got to redeem when I bought those shirts online that very same night. So I got a gift 
for that was originally $66 for basically $40. I mean, I know that $20 isn't a lot to people, but that's half of the rest of Ashley's list. That's half of the rest of her list that I saved by getting her a fun big gift. Now I'm done with her big gift. I can get these other little items and I'm a planner and a preparer and I haven't been as good this year because my kids are older and their, their ideas are getting a little bit more complex. I can't just shop impulsively for them. I have to really like get the specific things that they're asking for. I've taken way too much of your time. I need to get going on this list and keep going with my day. Just thought I would share my little be on top of it with your Christmas spending. And I'm on a cash budget. I literally have a, a designated amount of cash in my Venmo account that I'm going to transfer immediately when I'm going to make an Amazon purchase for a whole bunch of things I have in my Amazon cart that will completely wash. Then I actually have cash in an envelope in my purse and whenever I buy a specific gift for my kids, I just use that cash. I don't worry about getting points on the credit card. I am over conscious of overspending and I hate getting that credit card bill in January and you're like, crap, what did I do? So I'm trying to be very, very good about it, plan ahead and work off this cash budget to keep myself in check. Cause it's not my kids. My kids lists are not like extravagant by any means. It's to keep me in check. Ever wonder what the line at Costco gas looks like on a Monday morning before Thanksgiving? Actually, this is what it looks like every time you go to get gas. I'm in line. I just barely pulled up. Is there anyone behind me? No. Everyone else. So we've got one, two, three, four, four deep, plus the line, plus the two pumps up there. So I just did my online pickup here at Target, and they had it all ready for me. That's Jason's shirt. That one is a Christmas shirt. This one is Ashley's for the family photos. Those are little unicorns. And then that one is mine. It's a little sweater, I don't know. you think I'd learn after 18 years to not forget my umbrella. I just got drenched. I had to use a trash bag. <sighs> All right, so my battery died when I was out and about, and I got a few little clips here and there. I also got caught in a torrential downpour. <laughs> so I was using like a trash bag. Ashley's home now, and she's, why, why are y'all getting giddy on me? Did mom say I ha she had two surprises for you? Yeah, and I wanted to eat my lunch. Okay, so what do you have to do to get your surprise? Eat my lunch. What? What do you want? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to eat it. No! <laughs> Hurry! You had to put your bag away, your coat, your shoes. No. Chelsea, I have a surprise for you too. No. Put your bag and all your stuff away. And then we can decorate the Christmas tree after you have a snack. But I want to take the two minutes. Yeah, get your lunch put away. Get your bag put away. Hey, Chelsea, or Ashley. By the way, this is what our shoe section regularly looks like. You know, just for your special enjoyment. Yeah. So I'm trying to convince Ashley to get her backpack put away 100% before I show her her, her surprise. I'm gonna tell them the surprise without you, Ash. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. She saw one of them. No. It's a bag of clothes. It's a bag. Yeah, it's a bag of clothes. <laughs> well, one of the clothes items is for you. Is your coat Did put away? You? Is your coat put away? I swear, you guys. I went into her second year of school and she still doesn't put away her stuff. I used to do it. So no, you have never done it. <laughs> on your own. <laughs> in one day. Okay, done. All right. <laughs> This one, I've got all of our outfits for our pictures. Let me show you. I don't know when we're gonna be able to get this done. Maybe on Black Friday when everyone else is shopping, we'll actually get our pictures taken. So that one's yours, Ashley. We'll surprise our friends here in just a second. Lay them out here. All right, so Daddy is wearing a dark gray little, what do they call that, a Henley? Just buttons right there. And then I have a gray sweater. I wanted it really casual looking. Kaylee has a pink sweatshirt from Costco. Abby has this really cute sweatshirt that has the raised 
little letters right here. I, this is kind of was my inspiration for the cozy look in these little soft muted tones. And then this was Abby's sweatshirt and then she just passed it down to Chelsea. So Chelsea's gonna wear that one and some jeans. Abby just hasn't decided if she's doing jeans or leggings. She wants leggings. And then I got this one. This is one of the ones I got from Target. That I was telling you about before. And it has unicorns. unicorns. They're kind of like Christmassy unicorns. Because they've got like I can't even little tell. stars or snowflakes you or something. Like Don't you like it? You look like donkeys. They look like donkeys? Well, they're unicorns. Look, right here. Donkeys. They've got the unicorn right there. Oh, I want to pick donkeys. But they're like Christmassy unicorns. Or at least yeah. winter unicorns. It does look like a donkey. So, anyway, that's going to be our Christmas photo. Close. Okay, you want the other one? Yeah. All right, so Ashley, here's your other surprise. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I got that one for a dollar. Save that one for summertime. Kaylee's pajama pants. These ones are my pajama pants. Right there. We all have pajama pants. I think pants. Ashley's gonna have to go last because you're the most curious. Pretty. Then Abby, oh, here's yours. What? Oh, Do you like pink. that one? It's pink. Do you like that one, Abby? Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, it's hard. It was pink. And then pink. Chelsea. <laughs> nice. Look. It's a dog. They're doggies. Do you like that? Okay, yeah. Ashley, open up yours. <laughs> Red. Red candy cane. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, I debated. Like, I knew you'd like the doggy one though. Right? I love the dog one. You like the dog one? Oh, you're changing. She has pants on. Do you have shorts on? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's scary one. I was like, I just zoomed over. Okay, put them on quick. Put them on and see if they fit. I'm trying to get this thing. Does this not come out? Oh, it probably does. Yeah. Does that work? Let's look at this. Oh, you don't even know it's a Nice and cozy? Yeah. Now we gotta get like the sweatshirt to be the right size. Did you ever try on your pink sweatshirt yeah. yesterday? Does it work? Yeah. Okay. Did you get cotton rain too? Is that why your hair is kind of wavy? Or did you curl it? I didn't do anything here. Oh. Okay. Okay, Abby, you like yours? <laughs> Alright, did you put them on? Oh, you just put them on over your, sh your pants? Yeah. Well, they fit you then. That's kind of cute. <laughs> yes? I just like Can I wear them right now? So, Chelsea, that's the kind you wanted, right? Yep. She doesn't like real pajamas where they're tight fitting. Well, I like how it's like still. Stupid. Don't bend. Don't don't ruin it. Okay. Can I wear them tonight? And today? Yeah, you can. They were on sale today at Old Navy for five dollars. So. Can I have your phone? Take them off for right now. Can I have your phone? Chelsea. Can you have your phone? Was that Chelsea or Abby? Yes. It was you. The way you're giggling. Yes. Yeah, it was you. Well, last night, <coughs> froggy voice, because it's the next morning. I'll pour this. You hop up in your chair. Hop up in your chair. Last night, we didn't finish our video because... Why, Ashley? Do you want to tell them what happened yesterday? I feel like this is part of your... <laughs> <laughs> what happened last night? We got into a fight. No, you got into a fight with me. Yeah, I just didn't. No, no, don't mess with your bun. I just did it. I Sit just, straight and eat your cereal. I just didn't do it. You made bad choices. Yep. So for three hours, from four o'clock until seven o'clock last night, yeah. this one had a hard time. Literally screaming, slamming doors, gnashing of teeth. Eat your cereal. we got to go to bus. It's not even so I thought it would be fitting for her to end our video today by saying sorry to everyone. Just say sorry. Sorry, I already said it to me. You already said it to me. We just didn't get to end our video yesterday with you guys being cute and decorating the Christmas tree. I didn't even decorate it. I know, no one got to because I was too busy doing that with you. Take a bite, quick. So, she's all dressed cute for school today. And I am. We're going to have a new day, right Ashley? Okay, why don't you tell everyone that we will decorate our tree really soon, maybe today after school, if we're good, right? Yeah, okay, say good night, or say good, yeah, say good night to everyone. Good night. Okay, bye guys. 
All right, Chelsea's helping Ashley out really quick. Might as well include her in our ending. Can you put that in her backpack, please? Is it cold outside? I don't even know. I think so. Yeah. Can you pick up the couch real quick? Put that red one on the other side. Get the blue pillow, please. It's not what I meant. I wanted it to look nice. Get the breakfast wrapper off the couch. Okay. Abby. Yes, that's Abby. Get your jacket on, Ash. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go. Let's go. I'm trying. Okay, Chelsea's ready. Yeah. It's time. Let's go. She's got your backpack. Okay. Bye, guys.